an industry that was in a state of rude health um, is, is now, as it were, holds below the waterline. And, and it's important, I think, that we recognise uh, uh, the, the significance of comedy, that this country is defined, in terms of crown jewels, one of our greatest exports mm. is comedy. Um, one of our greatest defining national characteristics is our ability to laugh at ourselves. And of course, as we know, comedy is often referred to as being the best medicine. And uh, although it won't help you against COVID-19 specifically, but, uh, mm. but it will certainly helps the nation's mental health and something that we need to nurture and not let wither on the vine. Um, now, it, uh, people sometimes see these, these household name performers performing these big sort of stadium-like venues and think they must be uh, rolling in it. And whilst that might be the case for a few uh, uh, fortunate individuals, the, the bedrock of the industry is these uh, small venues that uh, exist and, sport and, and uh, sort of fledgling performers that exist hand to mouth. Right, but the government you know, is insistent on saying that they have made the biggest one-off investment in the arts ever. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely, country. and that's working. We're not asking for special treatments at all. We're just asking for for fair and equal treatment with the rest of the creative industries, uh, all of which are important. But is there anything to suggest that you won't get that treatment, that you won't get a slice of that cake? Well, uh, right now it doesn't look like it. Um, in on the sort of on the um, Arts Council England uh, uh, website, um, uh, comedy uh, isn't listed uh, as one of their the sort of uh, chief priorities, mm. and. Um, although they have helped certain uh, uh, venues. And it's, it's crucial that it, that it is helped because uh, if we don't help it now, then there'll be a, an echo down the generations and we'll find ourselves with, with a dearth of, we'll find ourselves in 10 years time with nothing to laugh at. <laughs> okay. Uh, talking about the pandemic at the moment, you were very funny when you did a, your skit on hand washing at the beginning of this crisis a few months ago. Um, is it too early to think of uh, turning this experience into humour? Or is it about uh, right now? I think comedy is a balm uh, that, that we we use at times of, of crisis, and uh, I think you know uh, th there's nothing that's off limits in comedy. If it's done in the right way, then comedy actually is, is uh, brings people uh, together. You know, you can even people who have diametrically opposed political views. They all they can all a, a good comic performer can make everyone laugh at the same thing, and it uh, it's sort of uh, it, it's a very healing uh, thing. I'm not going to ask you to be funny, obviously, but, you know, looking at uh, the, the stuff around you, looking at, you know, the environment that we live in at the moment, which are the areas that you might, you know, wish to explore for, for comedic material? Well, well, I mean, look, uh, I mean, I'm in the I'm in the middle of I'm not here to sort of sell my wares, but I'm 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 I'm, I'm writing two, two shows. I mean, one is the Alan Partridge show for the for BBC and the other one is a is a is a a, a, a hashtag me too a comedy mm -hmm. drama. Um, I think comedy, strangely, is, is well is perfectly placed to look at difficult subject matter and things that wouldn't, we wouldn't ordinarily laugh at. And uh, if you can get people to laugh at, the, at, at difficult circumstances or, or uh, um, trying sort of uh, in times of crisis, um, although it might seem disrespectful uh, at, at first hand, um, being able to um, being able to find the comedy, even if it's gallows humour in, in the direst of circumstances is um is very important it's important for our mental health and i was thinking it's funny actually asking the government to help uh, an institution that um uh, often has uh, the government in its sights i was going to say court. exactly maybe that's why they're reluctant <laughs> to write you in because they don't want to be made fun of <laughs> well well i think um you know uh, it's a self-deprecating uh, uh being, being self-deprecating is, is a is a winning quality whether it's for an individual or a government okay finally uh, if i can ask you to step into the alan partridge character what would alan partridge's words of wisdom be to the british public in this moment of peril um alan partridge what would he say um he'd probably say something like uh wear a mask um, and uh, ha have some fun with it, draw an amusing picture, perhaps uh, draw a, a funny slogan on the front of it to, to amuse people. Um, and uh, he'd probably get in trouble. If, the reason Alan Partridge doesn't go on social media is because he, he would be, well, he, he would, he would be, it would be career ending for him in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, Steve Coogan, thanks very much. Thank you. Well, Nicola Sirota, Chair of the Arts Council, said in a statement that they greatly welcome this very significant investment by the government in the future of arts and culture and look forward to working with them on the next steps.